friends and welcome back. So today guys, I will be sharing a walkthrough of the budget binder kit and sync fund binder that went out to two lucky winners. Now at the release of this video, they both should have just received their kits and are getting accustomed to the system. Now doing it in a video form will definitely be the easiest way for me to kind of explain how the system is meant to flow, but of course it is your system. So you can definitely set it up to what's going to work for you. Now, if you are not already subscribed to the channel or you do not have that notification bell hit, I encourage you to do so as there will be other giveaways ahead and possibly another binder kit giveaway as well. Okay guys, so let's hop right into it. Now, I did include a few extra goodies that I wanted to send your way. Just my way of saying thank you and I appreciate you so much for supporting me here on the channel and all of my crazy. So both of you are going to be getting a notebook. One says laugh and I believe the other one says live, love, smile or something to the nature. Both are going to be getting a little prayer box here. And I'm also including because I know both of you coupon a little like file of facts, um, little folder, theme jiggy I don't even know what you want to call it. but. I thought this would be um, pretty neat for you to utilize on your couponing trips. Now, of course, I shop with my coupon binder, but not everyone is as crazy as I am. So it comes with a little notepad. And then there's several little pockets here. Several pockets here where you can stick in your envelopes with your Pacific coupons for Pacific deals and so on. So this is another way to help you stay organized and get those deals as well. So again, I'm going to include these or I have included these items as well into the package for the giveaway. So I do hope that you ladies enjoy and are able to utilize these items as well. So before we get into the binder kit, I'm going to just quickly show you the sync firm binder. Now it's very generic. I did not include a cover as I really didn't want to put on here cash binder because then people will know you got cash in your binder. So I left it blank. And this is actually what I do for myself. I do not have a cover on our actual um, actual sync fund binder. So or a cash envelope binder. Um, it's pretty much in plain view, but where I have it, you would never know what it is. So, anyways, I did not include a cover on this, but it's pretty much set up the same way I have mine. Uh, pencil pouches is what I use and I pick these up at the dollar store if anybody is interested. I labeled each one and I also put in a little check registry for you guys as well. So I just gave you some generic categories that I think are pretty good if you're just getting started with the cash envelope system and sync fund system. So miscellaneous, just those miscellaneous things that come up that we don't have a particular category to put in. Um, minor medical expenses, so if you needed to go out and get cold medicine, pain medicine, something that doesn't require a prescription, um, or maybe it does require a prescription and it's just 30, 40 bucks, put a couple bucks away each and every paycheck and let it accumulate up into a certain amount that you are comfortable with and let that be your, oh, thought I was broken for a second, and let that be your um, medical sink fund. And then core maintenance and then household repair. So both of you ladies are going to be receiving or by now should have received these kits. Okay, so the budget binder, let's get into it. But first, let's just all recognize the beauty that this blue is. Blue is hands down my favorite color, absolutely. I cannot get enough of blue and pretty much all shades of blue I absolutely love. So as it is with my binder, it just states budget binder, family budgeting system for 2018 running my house like a boss. There it is. So let's hop right into it. So first off, I also included some of the pencil pouches here. And this here for me, I keep these particular envelopes as they're touched throughout the week in my bill binder. And again, my sink fund binder is kept in plain view, but out of sight, if that makes sense. But definitely keep that in a safe place. Um, of course, you don't want anyone to know what it is and all that jazz. But anyway, so we have groceries couponing, and then auto gas. I just kind of gave you generic ones. You can definitely change this up and do what's going to work for you and your family's needs. Now, in addition to the binder itself, I did also include several other resources. Now, some of these are of my own creations. Um, some are not. And if they're not, you're going to see the actual blog spot or website that I got it from. This is just 
forms that I have found over time, whether through a Google search or a good old fashioned Pinterest. And I just thought that these would be helpful resources as well to kind of get you um, started with paper planning and all that jazz there. Now guys, I am that kind of crazy as I actually have a like printable master list for all of my documents. So we all know Pinterest, everybody loves Pinterest. I love to hate it. I love Pinterest, but I can't stand getting on there because it is a black vortex. You get on there, you click for one thing, and then before you know it, who knows where you end up. Alice in Wonderland type thing. But anyways, what I have started doing a mm, good while back is when I find a printable that I really like and I'm utilizing for whatever it is, my planner, budgeting, kids, chores, etc., whatever it is, I keep a master copy of that printable in here. Yes, I know that Pinterest is made for you to pin that particular pin and then be able to go back to it, which works and I do pin those. However, I have found two things that happens for me. Is that when I go back and look for it, I can never find it because I get sucked into the vortex of Pinterest. Or I find it and the creator has actually put a price tag on it, which I'm not upset about because get your hustle on. However, I'm on a budget. So when I find it and it was a free download, I download it, keep a copy of it, and I put it inside this little binder. Now, absolutely, I can save it on my computer, but that takes up space and la, 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 et cetera. So what I actually need to do is I'm, I've been set up to do this for a while. It's come in and make like little subtitles on this binder for different categories, but story for another day. And I started doing this really, um, side note, I'm getting off topic, but I started doing this really more so when I, um, was printing off different documents for curriculum for the daycare kids. So having master copies definitely helped me out. So tip for you there. Once I get that binder organized, put some little labels and stuff in it, I'll come back and show you guys that. So I have also included several different forms for meal planning. So if you are currently not meal planning, I highly suggest that you get into the habit of meal planning because it has definitely saved me so much money when it comes to groceries. So just that alone was a huge impact and difference on our budget. And I just gave you different ones. Do what works for you, what you're gonna like, and so on. And guys that are not receiving this kit, I will leave a link to these particular um, documents in the description box as long as that website or blog is still active and so on. So again, I just have several different ones. Utilize what's going to work for you. Play around with it, use a few of them, and then go with, with, work, um, with what works. Okay, so you guys have seen this here in my weekly um, meal plan. I use this form here. I pretty much put it in a sheet protector, hang it on the side of the refrigerator, use a dry erase, uh, erase marker, and that's what I use to write in our meals and so on. And I have it two-sided, so one side will be filled, and then I can flip it over and have the other side done as well. Absolutely love that. So I will have this linked as well. And then I also found some spending logs, and I think one is a savings tracker, yes. So I just thought that these would definitely be, um, if it's something that, that you need to utilize, then you definitely have the resources to do so. And also included with all these papers that will be in that front part, it's going to be um, an overview on how to use the binder, but also master copies to the document documents that I have in here. So if you have not currently started tracking your spending or don't have a real handle on your spending, I definitely um, would encourage you to start tracking it. You can definitely make copies of this form and utilize it for different categories. So if you want to do spending for couponing, so make sure you stand on budget with your couponing, spending for your groceries to see exactly where you're coming in at every month, do that and track it uh, for however long you feel you need to until you get a handle on those categories. And then the same thing for savings. So if you're saving for a particular goal, you can track it here as well. Then there's just one form here that has financial goals. I'm sending another form that gives you an um, overview or I outline on writing down the expenses that you have yearly, quarterly, and monthly. It's easy to forget things that are due once a year. Things that are due quarterly, it's quite easy to kind of bypass those things until the statement comes into the mail. Then at that point, we're sitting there like, okay, we don't have 500 something bucks, etc. So I'm including these here, again, just as resources. So here's where we get into all the master copies of everything that's included in the binder. So I'm not gonna go through all those because I'm gonna go through it here. All right, so we're gonna flip it over. And here's the family budget binder. It goes into just what the binder entails in a nutshell. 
flip it over, you have your family balance sheet. This is great to fill out to make sure you're um, knowing what your net worth is and all that jazz. And then you have your front pocket here. So I'm sending pencils. Pencils are great for budgeting, so you can definitely erase and change up those numbers. Pens here. We have a pad of sticky notes, a check registry as well, and then a calculator. Now, of course, you have a calculator on your phone, but if you're anything like me, when I'm sitting down budgeting, I'm typically listening to music or watching a YouTube video or something of that nature while I'm doing my budget. So I like to have a calculator on the side so I don't have to cut off the YouTube video or anything like that in order to use my phone. I don't have one of those fancy phones. I have an Android and we can't do all those extra things. Okay, and so then we have our financial checklist in my binder. I utilize this to um, track those monthly expenses. I did this for like an entire year for every expense that we had. This is how I was able to come up with an annual budget and I know exactly how much I spend on lights, water, gas, cable, et cetera, et cetera, which we don't have cable anymore, but when we did, et cetera, as well as auto insurance, the pet insurance, all that stuff. So I utilize this form to be able to do that. And I have a video on that and I'll leave it linked above and below for you. Then in the back here, this is a dates to celebrate calendar. What I did in my binders, I actually crossed this out here with washi tape and I put sink funds. So I use this to track the sink funds. And again, I went through that in a separate video and I will um, leave that link as well. And I believe I went over that in the 2018 budget binder setup. Okay, so then getting into it, you have monthly tabs for every month of the year, January all the way through December. So first page up is a checkbook registry. You have it on both sides. I have a month at a glance. And I'm hoping this glare isn't too bad. Let me take this out. It might be. All right. So we have a month at a glance. And this is just monthly goals, your action steps for those goals, and then important dates. And then I like to put in the scripture or something like that. Um, just something that keep you motivated and going. Now, you guys won't see these documents in my planner and, uh, or in my budget binder as I do this here in my planner for the month. So... Just that way you know. And then I have a calendar here. So my thinking behind the calendar is you would be able to write in your due dates or any other income that is coming in as well as your bills. So when you get your statement for your lights, if it's due on the 15th, you can write in the 15th. You would be able to see that there's a um, holiday coming up. You want to plan for that. So here you'll be able to see your month at a glance. So I included that in there as well. And then here is just few other resources for you. So if you have not budgeted before on paper or really got serious with budgeting, I think both of these forms here are pretty good for you to um, kind of get used to things with. So this one here is my creation. You're going to just write in your income and the source. At the end of the month, you're going to be able to total up how much income you received and then your, all of your expenses, the amount of the expense, and then the due date of the expense, and then you can just write in your totals here. This is a good way to start with budgeting and seeing exactly where everything is going, all your money is going for that matter. And then this one here is not my creation, but I think this form is very detailed, um, and it goes into breaking down your budgeting categories by category. So I find this to be very, very detailed, um, and I gave you a master copy of this as well. And then income tracker. So this is of my um, creation, just the date that your income came in, the source of income. So it's a full-time W-2 job, a side hustle. If you got some blessing money, um, rebate money from couponing, whatever it might be, you can write in those sources there and then a description of it and then the amount. So that's pretty self-explanatory. All right, and then again, March, and it goes all the way through. Now, I did um, all of your documents for February and for March. Everything else will be on you because I'm so nice like that. I want to make sure you can, you know, make your copies yourself. All right, so in my binder, I keep a pocket for receipts, and that's because with my business at home or business, business, y'all know what I'm saying, I'm able to write off several um, expenses, so I have to keep receipts. Now, I include this for you. If you don't have a home business, I still recommend that you utilize this for any important receipts that you need. Uh, work you may have gotten done around the house, work you got done to the vehicle, medical receipts, etc. Put it in here at the end of the month, clean it out, and put it all together with um, that month's documents and so on. 
And again, I have a sheet that is coming with the kit that will break down how to utilize the kit and get the most out of it for your organization needs. And also, if you're not quite sure how much you tend to spend with couponing, with groceries, with gas, keeping those receipts, putting them all in here, and at the end of the month or at the end of two weeks, come in, calculate, and that will give you your totals as well. Okay, and then we get into our tabs. Freedom, contracts, and then account information. So freedom is all about debt freedom, getting out of debt and debt repayment. I have a sheet here that just kind of goes into that information. And you can read over this. I gave you some resources as well and so on. Now with your contract section, what I use that for is those random contracts that you may have. Um, excuse me. Those random contracts that you may have, for instance, pest control, um, house cleaning services, anything of that nature, gym, that's kind of random, but you may need to get to that information quick in a hurry. You can put that here. If that doesn't pertain to you, then definitely change this up and utilize it for something else. Maybe just put it as miscellaneous and things that come in and don't have a particular spot, you can stick there behind the miscellaneous tab. Now, when it comes to account info, I gave you a password tracker for all of your bills. So if you're utilizing any online systems for paying your bills or being able to log into your bills or your bank accounts, any of that stuff here, you will have a um, tracker to be able to keep all that information there. That way you, your honey, um, older kiddos, if something was to happen to you, someone had to come in on your behalf, mom, sister, aunt, etc., they will be able to have that information in a nutshell to assist you at that time, um, guard forbid, but you guys know what I'm saying. All right, and then here I gave you a sheet for debt repayment. So if you have any debt, whether it is student loans, credit cards, um, personal loans, maybe loans from family and friends, whatever it is, if you owe anybody anything, you can utilize this sheet here to write it down and keep track of all that information. So that is everything in a nutshell, guys. There's so much information between Google, um, here on YouTube, Pinterest, and so on. You're bound to find some type of document or form that's going to work for you. You guys know I am big on paper and pen. I do love the convenience of electronic, don't get me wrong, but I do believe that whenever you are physically writing something out and you're touching it, it's, it becomes tangible at that moment, it sticks with you a whole lot more than it would if it's just on an app. That is just my opinion. And again, that's just how my brain works. So I would definitely highly encourage you to try out the paper system, give it a real go. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, then it doesn't work for you and definitely utilize the binder for something else. No, um, no pressure there. I want you guys to win with money. Win with your money and be successful so that you can live the life you always dream to live. So that your kiddos and your kiddos' kiddos can live the life that you want them to have and so on. So, I hope you ladies enjoy the binder. I hope that it's not overwhelming to you. Take it bit by bit bit by bit. Take it bit by bit. Don't feel like you have to do everything as I have outlined it. I am a special kind of crazy and I'm okay with that, but <laughs> you want to find a system that's going to work, with, work for you. That way you can stay on track and be organized. If you need stickers, washi, colored pens, color markers to make it lively and fun to be, you know, encouraged, by all means, go out and get those things and get crazy with the planning. Do whatever you have to do to stay on track and get focused and get yourself financially stable and where it is that you want to be financially. Well, guys, thank you so very much for watching. For those of you that did not win the Binder Kit, again, stay tuned as I do have other giveaways um, coming ahead. And I do hope to be able to get some time, if I can find that 25, 25th hour in a day, and put some more kits together. Um, in the future, I think they will be for sale, but hopefully I will be able to um, do a few more as giveaways as well. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, stay true.